Welcome to Storytime. Enjoy with me. A Scandal in Bohemia by Conan Doyle Chapter 2 A Servant Finds Out When I arrived the next day, Holmes was not there. So I waited in his room. At four o'clock the door opened and a very strange servant came in. He wore old, dirty clothes, and I had to look very hard before I saw that it was my old friend. Holmes, I cried, where have you been? I've had a very good day, he replied with a smile. I've been outside Miss Irene Adler's house. Servants are always happy to talk, and so I have heard a lot about the young woman. For example, she has a good-looking man friend called Godfrey Norton, a lawyer who often visits her. Now, why? If he's her lawyer, perhaps she's already given him the photograph. But if he loves her, she won't show him the photograph. Most interesting, Holmes, I said. While I was there, Mr. Norton himself suddenly arrived. I watched them through the windows. When he left, he jumped into a taxi. To the Church of St. Monica, as fast as you can, he shouted. Two minutes later, Miss Adler ran out of her house, jumped into another taxi, and called, To the Church of St. Monica, quickly. I couldn't miss this, Watson. So I jumped into a third taxi. When I arrived, I went into the church. Godfrey Norton looked round and saw me. Thank God, he shouted. Come here quickly. Why, I asked. Come on, man, we need you. And so I helped Godfrey Norton to marry Irene Adler. They needed a witness. And a servant from the street was better than nobody. So, she's married him. What shall we do now? I asked. Well, tonight, my dear Watson, I need your help. Will you do what I ask? Without questions? Of course, Holmes, if you think that it's important, I answered. Later, we'll go to Bryony Lodge. Irene Adler, or Irene Norton, will arrive home at seven o'clock, and she will ask me to go into the house. You must wait outside, near the sitting-room window, and when it opens, watch me inside. When I hold up my hand, throw this thing into the room and shout, Fire! I took the small thing out of his hand. What is it, Holmes? I asked. It's a smoke stick. The room will very quickly be full of smoke. After that, wait for me at the corner of the street. Right. I'll do what you want, I said. Chapter 3 Fire That evening, Holmes again wore different clothes and a large black hat. But it was not just the clothes that were different. He changed his face, his hair, everything. He was a different man. We walked together to Serpentine Avenue. Outside the house, there were a lot of people who were smoking, laughing, and talking. Holmes and I walked up and down in front of the house. You see? said Holmes to me. I think she doesn't want her new husband to see the photograph. But where is it? At her bank? No, women like to keep important things themselves. I'm sure it's in her house. But the king's men tried to find it, I said. Yes, but they didn't know where to look, said Holmes. But how will you know? I asked. I won't look, 
She'll show me. She'll have to. Just then a taxi arrived. One of the men in the street ran to open the door. Then another man pushed him. Other men were also pushing and shouting, and a fight began. Irene Norton was in the middle of it. But Sherlock Holmes ran to help her. Then suddenly he fell to the ground, with blood running down his face. Irene Norton hurried to her front door, but she looked back. How kind of him to help me. Is the poor man hurt? she called. He's dead, cried some voices. No, he's only hurt, cried others. Bring him into the sitting room, she said. Some people carried Holmes into the house. I waited outside the window and watched. I saw how beautiful Irene Norton was. Then Holmes put up his hand, and I threw the smoke stick into the room. Immediately the people in the street and in the house all began to shout fire very loudly. The house was full of smoke. I walked away, and ten minutes later Holmes came to meet me. Well done, Watson, he said. Have you got the photograph? I asked. I know where it is. She showed me, he answered. But why did she show you? It's easy, he said, and laughed. You saw all those people in the street? I paid them to help us. It wasn't a real fight, and the blood wasn't real. When people shout fire, a woman runs to the most important thing in her house, her baby, her gold, or a photograph. Mrs. Norton ran to find her photograph, which is in a cupboard in the sitting room. I saw it, but I did not take it. Tomorrow we will go to her house with the king. We'll go very early before she gets up. The king himself can take the photograph from the cupboard, and then we'll go. While Holmes was talking, we were walking home to Baker Street. When we arrived at my friend's house, a young man hurried past us and said, Good night, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. I've heard that voice before, said Holmes to me. He looked down the street. But who was it? Chapter 4 A Photograph The next day we went to Irene Norton's house with the king. An old servant opened the door. Mr. Sherlock Holmes, she asked, and smiled. Yes, said my friend. He looked very surprised. Mrs. Irene Norton and her husband left England this morning. They will never come back to this country. What? cried Holmes, his face white and angry. And what about the photograph? cried the king. We all hurried into the sitting room. Holmes ran to the cupboard and opened it. Inside was a photograph, not of Irene Adler and the King, but of the beautiful Irene alone. There was also a letter for Sherlock Holmes. We all read it together. My dear Mr. Sherlock Holmes, you did it very well. I thought that it was a real fire, and that you were just a kind old man. But after I opened the cupboard, I began to think. I knew about the famous Sherlock Holmes. I knew your address, and I knew that the king asked you to find the photograph. So I quickly dressed as a young man and followed you home to Baker Street. I wanted to find out if you really were Sherlock Holmes. I said good night to you outside your door. My husband and I have decided to leave England. Please tell the king that I shall not show the photograph to anybody. 
I love my husband, and he loves me, and he is a better man than the king. But here is a different photograph, and the king can keep this photograph if he likes. Irene Norton. What a woman, cried the king. Why didn't I marry her? What a woman! A very, very clever woman, said Sherlock Holmes coldly. I am sorry, Your Majesty, that this business has not finished well. No, no, said the king. She writes that she will never show the photograph to anybody. I need nothing more than her word. There is no danger for me now. How can I thank you, dear Mr. Holmes? I would like just one thing, Your Majesty. Tell me at once what it is, said the King. This photograph. The King looked at him in surprise. Irene's photograph, he cried. But of course, it is yours. And so... There was no terrible scandal in the royal families of Europe, and Sherlock Holmes still has the photograph of the woman who was cleverer than he was. The End